Welcome to Everbetters to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan and this is Buddy Sherman. We are so glad you're here. So today I've prepared a 30 minute vinyasa flow practice for you all about movement and message. In the flow, we're gonna move in and out of variations of low lunge. The message is about upping the app, upping the appreciation factor in your life. I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. Push the bell for future notifications and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a Welcome, Never Betters. If you follow me at Never Better Yoga, on Spotify, we're going to go ahead and push that play button list, start button right now together. Then come with me to the top of your mat. Feet are gonna be all the way to the width of your mat. Knees are gonna bend as you fold at the waist and cascade down over your legs. Let your head hang. Go ahead and let your knees bend. You can kind of squiggle around, even move your head around. Just beginning with the heart a little higher than the head today. Shaking out anything that could be in between your ears that could hinder your practice today. Any kind of angst or worry or uncertainty, let it spill right out onto your mat. By moving your head back and forth, collect one hand on each bicep in ragdoll and just shake it out. Anything. Anything at all, any unforgiveness, any offenses, just let them spill. Draw a little bit of a yes back in with that knowingness that there is absolutely no coincidence that you have showed up today, that you have unrolled your mat, and that you are here preparing to practice. Draw that yes back in, there is no coincidence. Now release your hands down. Maybe they're gonna come onto your shins for a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out and fold. Do that again, pump the heart up, breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, bow down and fold. One more time, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out and pull yourself together. Heel toe your feet all the way together at the top of your mat and rise up, stand tall, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, hands right to heart center. So we have been continuing our series of holidays anew. So today we're going to celebrate 2021. I have hopes that all of your wishes and prayers will come true in 2022. Bring your chin to your chest, close your eyes, and solidify one single-minded intention or purpose today for your practice could be a wish could be a prayer a sense of appreciation for someone or something let that be your intention today and then offer it up on the inhale lace your hands inside out soften your elbows lift up and over to the right Inhale, back up to the center, up and over to the left. Now back to the center, release as you swan dive over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. 
step the right leg back, back knee down, Anjaneyasana, offer the arms up. T the arms, breathe out. Collect your hands right at heart center. Wring it out and twist. Letting the thumbs be right in the center of your chest. Breathe. Now release the right hand down as the right kneecap comes up. Modified revolved lunge. Lower the left hand down. Pull the left hip crease back. Pyramid pose, inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. I'm sure as you dive over this left leg and you begin to celebrate 2021, you begin to realize the challenges that have transpired in this past year. Plant your hands, step back to high plank pose. Drop your knees down, round the back, tuck the chin for cat. Inhale, arch the back for cow. I am sure you had some challenges you couldn't even believe came your way. Arch and look up. Never dreamed of, never thought of, couldn't possibly be happening to you or yours. However, did you ever think about the fact that we don't learn so much on the mountaintops, but we learn in the valleys? Your adversities are worth celebrating. Inhale, arch. We learn in the valleys. That's when we grow. That's when we transform because that transformation, that radical change can only come by renewing our mind and looking at things a little differently, shifting our expectations to appreciation. So today, if there were a single-minded proposition for your practice from my heart to yours, it would be how can we up the app, up the appreciation factor in our lives. Appreciation towards others, towards things that we have, towards even the adversities that have happened that are teaching us to grow, to learn how to act when we don't get our way. Tuck your toes under, walk your hands up your thighs, sweep your arms out and up, breathe in. Lace your hands, lift hips off heels, breathe out as you rise up, soften your elbows up and over to the right. Inhale, back up to the center, hug your inner thighs in, up and over to the left. Now back to the center, brush and sweep your hands alongside your body, palms up, head down, embryo pose. Right hand, right hip, left arm circles as you rise up, breathe in. Exhale, brush and sweep, breathe out, bow down. Inhale, left hand, left hip, right arm up, circle up and back. Now keep this going as you brush and sweep and bow. Root to rise back up, breathe in. It's a circular motion, a little saja movement, free form, flowing, opening, breathing, finding that mobility in your body, in your heart in your mind, in your soul. Open up. Maybe it's the heel you want to reach back toward. That's also an option. Lifting the heart, chest, sternum, breastbone, right up to the heavens. One more time each side. One on the right. Back down. And then one on the left. Rise up. Come back. Hands and knees. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Bend your arms, go chin, chest, belly, slither right onto your mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower your chin back down. Tuck your toes under. Pop your hips up and back, down dog. Now in your down dog, pedal through your feet just a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and walk your feet in about six inches and bring them together. Your hands are about the width of your shoulders. 
Peel your heels up off the mat, shift your heels to the right, soften the knees, hips to heels, peel the left arm up and look up. Come back around, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, drop your hips, left hand down, right arm lifts. Come back around one more time each side at your own pace, your own style. Breathing continually in your practice today, in and out through your nose, that smooth cadence of that ujjayi pranayama breath. Right leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Send the right foot right around the ankle. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Circle it in the opposite direction. Inner knee, outer upper tricep. Step it outside the right pinky finger. Tense your finger pads, breathe in. Exhale, dive the hips back. Modified pyramid pose. Inhale, shift forward, drop the left knee, left hand down, right arm sweeps up and back. Maybe you bend the left leg and catch it as you open up your heart. Release that connection, hop to the top of your mat, right into Malasana. From Malasana, rise up, breathe in, heel toe your feet together at the center of your heart. Chin to chest, bow your head down. Reiterating that appreciation up the app. Open the eyes, lift back up, swan dive over your legs, hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale halfway, step the left leg back, dip the knee down, offer the arms up, breathe in, breathe out as you tee your arms. Collect your hands at heart center, Ring it out and twist. Left upper arm outside the right front thigh. Lower the left hand down as the right arm lifts up. Breathe out. Now lower the right hand down. Pull the right hip back. Pyramid pose. Inhale and lengthen as you bow over this right leg. Pull that right hip crease back. Your left knee could be soft. Your right knee could be soft. Your left heel could be lifted. And then plant your palms, step into high plank. Drop your knees down, point your toes, shift shoulders over the wrist. Let your elbows graze your body as you lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, take your body up and back. Breathe out. We can transform our lives by changing the way we think, by renewing our minds. Let the left leg lift, roll open at the hip. Circle the left foot right around the ankle. Reverse that direction. Inner knee, outer upper tricep. Step it forward dip down the right knee right hand down left arm sweeps up and back maybe catch the hand and foot and open up the heart now release that draw the hips up and back dig the left heel in for a little modified pyramid plant the left sole of your foot right leg hops up malasana this time, walk your hands forward, pick your hips up, kick your heels out, hands on shins, pump the heart up, breathe in, breathe out, bow down and fold, heel toe your feet all the way together, rise up, stand tall, lace the hands inside out, up and over to the right, back up and over to the left, exhale, collect your hands, bow down and fold. One move, oh, one stop. breath. Inhale and lengthen. Right I leg steps back. Thoughts. Right knee lowers down. Inhale, arms rise time. up. Exhale, tee the arms, breathe out. Inhale, collect the hands. Exhale, wring it out and twist. 
Now, right hand down, right kneecap lifts, modified revolve lunge. Step right back to high plank. Lower down from high plank to your mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, up and back, down dog. Right leg is going to lift. Roll open at the hip. Inner knee, outer upper tricep. Step it forward. Drop the left knee, left hand down. Right arm sweeps up and back. Maybe bend and catch. Release that connection. Draw up and back, digging the right heel in. Plant the right foot on the diagonal. Left foot joins Malasana. Inhale, rise up. Heel toe your feet together. Expand your heart and chest. Exhale, dive right over your legs. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step the left leg back on Janayasana. Offer the arms up. Breathe in. Breathe out as you tee the arms, dip the hips, hug the inner thighs in. Collect your hands, wring it out and twist. Transformation, radical change by renewing your mind. Breathe in, look up, shifting your expectations to appreciation. Step back, high plank. Lower from plank, come to either up dog or cobra. Exhale, dive up and back, down dog. Listen. Listen to more of what's on the inside rather than responding to what's on the outside, the circumstances. Listen. Quiet reflection. Effective action followed by quiet quiet reflection rinse repeat more quiet listening activates more effective actions words from peter drucker lift that left leg up roll open at the hip inner knee outer upper tricep tap it step it outside that left pinky finger dip the right knee down Right hand down, left arm sweeps up and back. Perhaps catch the hand and foot, then open it up. Release as you draw your hips up and back. It's a little modified pyramid. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, plant the left foot, right foot joins. Malas on the top of your mat. Stay right here or plant your hands for a little kakasana. Crow pose, loading your knees right on your triceps, hugging into your own midline. Landing back down, Malasana, come on up, heel toe your feet together. Open the heart. Exhale, dive down, hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Right leg steps back, right knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tee the arms. Collect the hands, wring it out and twist. Let the heart lift. Right hand down, right kneecap lifts, modified revolve lunge. Step back from here, high plank pose. Lower down to your mat. Inhale, rise up, dog or cobra. Exhale, up and back. You go, down dog. Right leg rises, roll open at the hip. Inner knee, outer upper tricep, step it outside. Dip the left knee right down, left hand down, right arm sweeps back, catch the hand and foot, open the heart. Release, dive your hips up and back, digging that right heel in. Plant the right foot, hop the left foot up, malasana. Rise up, stand tall, heel toe your feet together. Expand your heart. Exhale. Dive over your legs. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step the left leg back on Janayasana. Sweep your arms up. Listen to what's on the inside. Open the heart. 
Collect your hands, wring it out and twist rather than what's on the outside, the external circumstances. We can control our own mind. We can renew it, which helps us transform our life. Left hand down, right arm up. Lower the right hand, step back, high plank. Option to always drop your knees if preferred. Chin, chest, belly, slither down. Up the app, up the appreciation. Turn your expectations into appreciation. Down dog. Left leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Inner knee, outer upper tricep. Step it outside. Dip the right kneecap down. Right hand down, left arm sweeps back. Maybe catch hand and foot. Open up the heart. Release it. Draw the hips up and back. Dig the left heel in. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. Plant the left foot on the 45 degree angle, right leg hops up, malasana. Either hold, lifting up out of the hips, or kakasana number two, knees on triceps, feet hug together, inner thighs draw in. Landing back down in malasana, Rise up, heel toe your feet together, open up your heart. Hands now to heart center. Steady your gaze, lift the heels up, breathe and balance. Steady, stable. Now lower your heels down, part your arms, right leg up and over, right arm under eagle pose. Draw your eagle. Eagles don't sweat the small stuff. Draw them into the nest. Unravel right foot, both hands brush and sweep. Lace the hands, bow over your legs. Hands release to shins halfway, maybe finger pads. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, stand tall. Hands to heart center. Pop the heels up, lift the crown of the head. Pull your belly in, hug your ankle bones in, and balance. Drishti, steady and stable. Lower your heels, part the arms, left leg lifts, up and over. Maybe it's a hug, maybe it's more of a pigeon style, or garandasana, draw it in. All twisted up, draw in. Listen to what's inside rather than to responding to what's outside. Unravel it all, brush and sweep as you bow down. Release that connection, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, bring your bottom down. Wrap your arms around your shins, apanasana, as you bring your chin in towards your chest, point your toes and balance. Now, go ahead and lift your legs up, breathe in for Navasana, high boat. Now, in your high boat, lower down to hover. Draw the right knee in, sit up tall, lift the heart. Lower back down, exhale, draw it back in, lift up. Inhale, lower back down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one, now come up, high boat. Now bring the soles of your feet together. Pull your heels in, lift your heart. Don't let your feet touch. Breathe. Now land your feet. You're in butterfly. Inch your sit bones back. Walk your finger pads forward. Whoo! Now walk your hands back. Sole of the right foot towards the left inner thigh. Janu Shirshasana. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. Pivot and rotate your torso toward the left leg. Press your thigh bone down. Bend over the left leg at the waist. Slip the left forearm in. Bring the left hand up if you want more. Right arm up and overhead. Breathe out. Reach the right arm up. Plant the right hand. Rise up on the shin and knee. Open out the heart. Open it up, up your appreciation meter. 
shift your expectations to appreciation. Celebrate those adversities of 2021. It's all a way of looking at things. Flex the right foot, extend the right leg, left sole of foot to right inner thigh. Exhale, bow down over that right leg. Maybe if you want more, right palm in and up, left arm up and over. Now, left hand plants, rise up on that left shin, root down through the outer edge of the right foot, breathe in. Now, come back to a comfortable, easy seat. Yes, just root down your sit bones, slip your hands beneath your kneecaps, and just circle around. So as you celebrate even the adversities in this past year in your life, find ways to shift. Find ways to shift rather than expecting things from other people, which they maybe cannot deliver to you. Take your expectations to a higher level, to a higher court, to your faith, to your belief, and let those people in your life off the hook. Reverse it, and then you up the app. You up your appreciation factor, appreciating those in your life, appreciating the things you have, and no matter what circumstances swirl around, you can find that anchoring, that centering right in the middle of your body, right through the center of the earth. Then stabilize, offer up all of that appreciation, breathe it in, Exhale, breathe out, seal it into your heart with your single-minded purpose as you draw your chin to your chest, letting the peace, letting the love and light that you have be solidified with that appreciation of others in your life and of those things that you do have. Then as you lift your heart and head up, finish off all together with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Home. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop.